Hi, everybody. This is Barbie. Now we are ready to begin our adventure into the land of fun, Barbie's camping adventure. Last summer, Mom, Dad, Skipper, and I went camping in a national park high in the mountains. Rather than stay in a motel, we decided to take our camper so we could really enjoy the beauty of the woods. We packed the camper with everything we would need for the trip. We took our clothes, all our food, and a canoe. Dad said it was a long trip, so we went to bed early the night before we left. Skipper and I were so excited. We knew it was going to be a wonderful vacation. We left early the next morning before the sun was up. By the time dawn broke across the green hills, we were already out of town and on our way up into the mountains. Mom and Dad sat up front to share the driving, while Skipper and I rode in the back of the camper. From the window, we could see the beautiful countryside. We passed farms and small towns along the way. A few hours later, the road grew steeper and the air was clean and fresh. I knew we were almost at the park. In a few minutes, we arrived. Dad parked the camper at a hookup that he had reserved. The hookup supplied us with our water and our electricity. Then we began to set up camp. Once we had everything arranged, Skipper and I looked through a booklet that the ranger had given us when we arrived. It listed all the fun things to see and do in the park area. By now it was late afternoon, so we decided to wait until morning to begin exploring. Dawn comes early in the mountains. The next morning the sun woke us up, shining brightly through the windows of the camper. We had a big breakfast of ham and eggs and then started out on our first full day of fun in the park. We all decided to go hiking on one of the many nature trails that wound their way through the mountains. The trail we chose led us through a forest of tall pine trees. On and on the trail went. We crossed over a wooden bridge that spanned one of the many rivers in the park. The water sparkled in the morning sun. Along the way, we saw lots of beautiful birds in the trees overhead. We even saw a family of rabbits resting in the cool shade of a tall tree. Finally, we reached a clearing high up the side of the mountain. From this lookout point, we could see for miles and miles across the park below. By the time we arrived back at camp, it was almost noon. We had lunch, then made our plans for the afternoon. We decided to go canoeing in the river which ran nearby our campsite. Mom drove the camper down river to meet us, while Skipper, Dad, and I carried the canoe to the river. We put on our life vests for safety and paddled out into the swift current. Soon we were speeding down the river at an amazing pace. About a half hour later, we stopped in a small shallow by the side of the river to try our luck at fishing. We were trying to catch trout. We used fancy lures for bait. Our lures were made of feathers and looked just like insects. We cast the lines out and then snapped the lures around so that the fish would think they were bugs on the surface of the water. Sure enough, it worked! Skipper and I caught five big trout in less than one hour. All Dad caught was an old log, but he had fun anyway. Later that afternoon, we arrived at the point where we had arranged to meet Mom. We put the canoe on top of the camper and drove back to our site. Dad and Skipper cleaned the fish while I helped Mom fix dinner. We cooked the fish outdoors over a wood fire. They sizzled in the frying pan and gave off a delicious aroma. The wind must have carried the smell out into the woods because soon we had two guests for dinner that we were not expecting. There, at the edge of our campsite, were two large brown bears. They sniffed around curiously. They looked friendly, but I remembered that in the book the rangers had given us, it warned about feeding the bears. They can be dangerous. Quickly, we all hurried inside the camper. Once we were all safe inside, I remembered we had forgotten the fish. 
We looked through the window just in time to see the hungry bears disappear back into the woods with our dinner. Mom fixed us another dinner, but it wasn't as good as the fish would have been. That night, the bears had the best dinner of all. All through the next week, we stayed in the park. We went climbing up into the high mountains, swimming in a cool lake nearby, and hunting. Not with guns, but with cameras. Skipper and I took lots of pictures of the animals and the scenery. That way, once we got back home, we would have the photos to remind us of our vacation. The days passed quickly, and soon it was time to start back home. On the morning of our departure, we carefully cleaned up every part of our campsite. We wanted to make sure that the park was as clean as it was when we arrived. That way, the next family to use the site would find it clean and beautiful, too. Once we were all packed, we climbed into the camper and began the long trip home. We were all a little sad to leave, but we knew that if everybody respects the park and keeps it clean, it would be there for us to enjoy year after year. <laughs>